What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Off Like a Clutch A247, and we are here giving you guys some more offense in the Green Bay Packers offense, man. I run in this offense like it's nothing. So, for me to show you guys this inside of this book, if you guys want to sit here and use this book, here's some stuff that you guys can go ahead and use, and it is Empty Chips Tight. Empty Chips Tight is something that I found out of nowhere when I just wanted to find some offense to run, which is kind of different. It's only six plays in it, but the things that you can do with a certain position in the game is actually kind of tough. Now, the formations in here is kind of weird. Tight end in the slot, so I guess, yeah, so it's him on the outside. You can have double tight ends. So let me go ahead and test, test this out for the one time. Uh, the double tight ends, you can basically, oh, you can't switch into the uh, something different with the two tight ends. Two tight ends. Wait, it's two tight ends, a wide receiver, and a running back, right? Hold on. So you got the two tight ends here on the inside. Yeah, so it's two tight ends, wide receiver, wide receiver. Ah, so then you go over here and you sub in a running back here in this spot. So you have Pacheco right here. Now look what you can go ahead and get into when you switch the formation. You can switch it into a deuce close. Boom, run it just like that. Wide receiver, got to go all the way over there to the other side. Now you can go ahead and run the ball. Just like in the last video I showed y'all when it came towards like the, um, the tight. You can kind of go back into this if you want to. Or you can go back. Like, yeah, yeah, it's basically the same thing. We go back into the wing slot. You can go ahead and do that. Um, the tight is already there. This wide receiver's got to make a trip. But uh, let's go ahead and put the wide receiver back in there. Um, but other formations that you can switch to, it just depends. Because this gives you three wide receivers, a tight end, and a, a running back already. So, um... The things that you can switch to in this technically would be the bunch X nasty, the tight Y off, flex, tight Y off, tight Y off weak. You can even switch to trips tight end with this. So boom, the tight end would already be there. But then a running back comes all the way down for you to go ahead and switch back into this formation. It does take a while for that to happen, but you could still go ahead and hit the beater and then still go ahead and scorch your touchdown if you feel like this is not the offense for you. Now, one thing that is with this offense that is going to be a little bit of a bother, just because they do have these check and release, you cannot block them. You cannot block them. The only way that you could block them is if you motion the tight uh, the running back in, put him there, and then bring him back. Well, even if you bring him back, it's not going to stay there. The only way that you're going to actually like keep him to block is you keep that tight end there. I mean, you keep the wide receiver there. And you have the running back to block. That's literally it. That's all you can do to literally add that extra blocker. Other than that, this is not going to work. But the one thing in this formation that makes this very, very good is the routes that you get from your tight, I mean, from your running back when you motion him back towards the backfield. Now, this is what I'm talking about. So here we're trying to go. You can have wide receiver routes on your tight end. I mean, you can have wide receiver routes on your running back. And then when you put your running back back to your running back spot, they keep the wide receiver routes. So this crosser, this crosser is able to stay. You move it around. Now it's flipped. So now it's a crosser coming out of the backfield. Now we go in motion um, square up. You guys see how the route goes. It basically will come out and go towards that side of the, the field. But it will work a lot better if he doesn't get caught up on the D-line. So, boom, we're going to measure that up once again. You guys see, doesn't even get interrupted. Now he goes out towards that field, kind of brings it out enough for me to go ahead and run. Or if they come out in a certain formation, I could go ahead and just use that. And now I can go ahead and use this, boom. If they're not going to guard it, I can go out towards the sideline and throw it towards the sideline and actually complete a pass on the outside. Another thing you can do is this cor the corner route. So the post route, the post route is going to go towards the right side of the field. The corner is going towards the left side of the field. If you put it towards the left, when you motion it towards the right, it goes right. Now you can actually do this type of set. So boom, he comes out. And then if you roll out, he comes out and you actually have him wide open on the outside. If you put them on a post route towards the right side is going to make him go towards the left side. 
once again, he goes up, 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 and then comes through. But because that took him a little bit too much time, I have to hit that up there. But if he runs into the offensive line, then yes, it is going to make it a little bit worse for him. But one thing that you could do that does not have Hot Route Master involved. Actually, hold on. What's another thing that we can do? You can even do an out and up, which means the double move. You can move the double move in here so it looks like he's doing an out but then goes back up, right? So if I put R1 here in a curl and then circle over here on the outside. So if it looks like he's going out there, boom, he'll hit it right back up. And now it's basically a streak down the field. You can't tell me that's a little bit glitchy because then you think, oh, it's an out. No, I'm basically putting him in in a double move and now he's going down the field it's actually kind of glitchy how that is so boom and now you basically do it like that if you sitting here a little bit upset boom boom hit that right there you can kind of throw that over top of him and you have a nice easy catch especially in that type of man right there you literally i swear if you hear and everybody is manned up he has to come through and play it just like that that double move is going to hit him a little bit crazy to where he's going to be the only man down the field to make something happen um but one thing that you can do all you you cannot motion him if he is in that check and release you got to put him out on a route you can put him up in a streak and he comes back down and he plays that streak just like that one thing that you can do with this running back route, though, if you push triangle and put him into a Texas route, you can actually motion him back. And now he's doing a Texas route as the tight, basically as a tight end. Uh, you bring him back down and you put him into a flat. You can go ahead and move him out here. Now he's having a flat on the line. Move him back down. You put him on the wheel route. If you guys remember this back in the day where some of the five uh, wide formations would have the running back inside and be on a, a wheel, you can motion him outside, and then now he has a wheel going towards that left side. So, boom, you put square on that flat, you move it just like this, and now the tight end will go up and go up into the street, going to the left side of the field. It's many different things you can do. Um... Boom, keep this on that side, and then you put a post route right here. Boom. I could basically bring this in. Now you have this concept. Boom. And then you have X wide open, and if you wait a little bit, you have the running back wide open. It's many different things that you can make on this play. You can even have this right here, have the crosser, and instead of Harmon being on a crosser, now you can put him onto a zig or put him into that to kind of bring down your, uh, what you call it, they kind of bring down that safety to have that deep post come in. It's just manipulation at this point. And the one thing with this, uh, boom, now you have the streak right there. You have him wide open. Boom, make a miss, get a block. Now you're in there for the touchdown. Now, one thing with this that you do have to remember, if you put your triangle on... Or your X. If you put triangle or X on a streak, it would not streak the way it should. It goes out and then goes in. So just keep that in mind when you sit here and put them on a streak. Because then it will take a little bit extra and make them do that. The only way for them to actually make that streak is if you do it on technically a fade. The fade is going to go out a little bit. But then they basically go and do the uh, streak that you actually want them to do. If you want to put the running back on an actual streak, motion him down, puts him into a regular streak, and then motion him back. Now he is in that regular streak that you want. He'll just go straight up, and you don't even have to worry about it. Now you can go ahead and hit that route right there, and it basically helps out with that route as well. Now, another thing that you can do in this, the only thing that you can't do in this is run the ball unless you sit here and um, audible to a bunch of X nasty or audible to somewhere else like this. Like Bunch X Nasty, you can sit here and hike this within three seconds, and then you can make a play with that. That's the quick, like the how the tight was where you audible to do close. The equivalent to this is coming out in the Bunch X Nasty. Boom. You can easily switch into one extra route, and then now you can switch over to something like this. Now you have that. I don't know why Patrick Mahomes is so bad outside the pocket sometimes. It's kind of wild. But... Like I said, it's just for the demonstration purposes. You can come out here, do that, hurry up and de uh, basically double-team him, and now you got yourself a huge gain running a ball right there. 
But with you audibling to that bunch of X Nasty, I don't really think that it has like an outside run to help with. I could be completely wrong. I can go ahead and look. Actually, no, it has that wide zone weak, which is actually very good. I forgot about that. I totally forgot about that. Or the inside zone weak. So we're going to add that towards the hot routes. I mean, the audibles, just so we can uh, demonstrate that to you guys real quick. Even with the crack toss. Crack toss even isn't that good. But, um, yeah, we can come out in that play. Doesn't even matter what it comes out in. Uh, switch over to the wide zone weak. You don't even have to sit here and do any adjustment. Do that. Boom. Hit it towards the outside. And you can hit it towards that side or hit it towards the other side where your extra blockers is on the right. Or you can switch over to, boom. Switch over to this. Switch it over to the right real quick. Boom. And now you sit here and you got some extra shards right there. So if you want to run the ball out of it, you can switch over to the Bunch X Nasty. Run it just like this. But you definitely, if you have one formation, you definitely got to find something that sits here and complements it. And you want it to a point where it complements it so much that you not only you break it off just like this because they're not ready for it. And you have literally three seconds to adjust to it. You can even come out in that play. Let's just say you come out in that play and then... Like, you know, you only have a certain amount of time to adjust to it. Let's just say, yeah, I came out into the play. Now I want to switch over a halfback dive. As soon as they switch over to this halfback dive, now your adjustments is all messed up. Now you got to sit here and adjust to the run after you sit here and just put out all your zones to pass. Now you got to sit here and watch out for this. So, yes, it is a very, very kind of toxic offense that you could go ahead and work with this. But make sure you do have Isaiah Pacheco in so that means when you sit here and audible over to you have a running back that you want to go to um but yeah you can even come out in certain formations like this i forgot to do that now you have your underneath you have this up top boom got that right there there's many different things you can do with this formation um let's see what's another one it was it was streak the uh r1 on this one streak actually hold on I don't, I think I remember which one this is. Yes, so it was a tight end. So, the man's the tight end, the triangle route on the underneath. So, then you motion over Hardman over, and then you have this little look right here. If you want to, you can even put him in this right here. So, not only do you have this on the underneath, but then now you got that clear out for the tight end to get wide open on that right side. Um... Another one that you can do here is basically the out. Um, you could put him on the, what do you call it? You can put him on the corner route. You can motion a triangle out, put him on a wheel route. And then this is kind of looking like the play that I was telling you guys about then. And then you can go ahead and roll on out and hit R1 if you want to, to a nice little game to the outside. This is it's kind of a, low-key toxic offense that you could make toxic um boom 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 now you can do something like this quick hike it and then now you possibly have r1 if you had that man defense or you had like that cover three things of that nature we can try and do that one more time just like this and put square oh you actually put square on that route that's actually very very good and then now you have that wide open. It's 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 going to get very, very annoying. But the thing is with this offense, this offense doesn't have a lot of blocking. All right. So the only blocking that you will technically get is with your, uh, what you call it? It's with your um, check and release routes. And those aren't going to stay every single time. So if somebody comes in with a blitz, if you shade to shift it to the right, Boom, then that means your running back is going to be the one to sit here and um, go out on a route first. If you switch it towards the left, then your tight... Well, actually, no, the, the um, running back actually went out there with it. But if you want to block to one of them towards that side and kind of, like, help it out, like you guys can see, it's three to the left, two to the right. I'm going to slide over to the left, so that means I can get some help on this side. Now I can go ahead and roll out. And hit this right here but you kind of don't want that to be your main thing when it comes to this offense um you see with every single play that is even here just in all the audibles they're in the check and release it's not going to help you out that much when 
it comes time to it. So, boom, he comes out in the check release. Now where is he going? He's just going to stand right there. That's not going to help you out that much. So the only bl the blocking that you can get in this formation is if you go ahead and move the tight end. I mean, not the tight end, the uh, running back over. And now he is a permanent blocker to help you out to get to this. That's why it's not like one of the best offenses out there. It's very decent. But if you think that you will be okay with running an offense like this, then go ahead. It is completely up to you. I ID the wrong person. But yeah, it's completely up to you. Boom. You see that they're blitzing. Boom. I go ahead and ID that man right there. And they just came and prepared for the run. But yeah, this is the kind of offense you can have. It's not like a everything offense. If you see somebody that's not blitzing and you can go ahead and take advantage of that, then yeah, go ahead and take advantage of that. So, like, this offense is very, very decent when you don't have anybody blitzing at your head. If somebody's blitzing at your head, it's not really the best thing you do. But if you find somebody that, like, oh, you just coming out in this, I don't feel like I should really worry about anything when it comes to this, then, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and worry about it. I'm going to sit here and just play D and let the edge stats go off. Okay, cool. But if you find out that they're not going to blitz you the way that it should, then boom. I'm going to go ahead and hit my open routes. I'm going to go ahead and hit my open things. So that is something that you can do with this offense. If you guys like it, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys like to see. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.